Hello and welcome back to Life is Strange. Sorry, I, I can't resist the urge to put a slightly sort of creepy spin on the way I say that because, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's literally called hey, Life Smash. is Strange. It's not fun if you don't elongate the word strange to make it sound a little sort of... I might be really, really sad. Wait, one more for the road. So what have I got to predict how many this. she actually manages to hit? We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay, then. A little to the right. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? Take the shot, You're then on I'll target. tell you. Pull the trigger. Up a little bit. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Don't. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. You're not shooting at an apple on my head. <laughs> Give me something to shoot, Max. Drag up the monitor. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Good shot. Old school. Lame. Okay, let's go back. Target something else. Give me okay, something to shoot, Max. Take out the barrel. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats! That ricochet was a wee bit dangerous. Give me something to shoot, Max. Alright, how about the blue Ain't plank? Ain't that old blue plank? I hate old planks. Nope, didn't Yawn. do it. Okay, I will find something cool for you to shoot, I promise. Give me something to shoot, Max. Okay, we're running out of things, so... This Let's thing? take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Did that ricochet and hit one of the balls? Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Okay, I'd aim Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Oh boy. Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. Okay, then back we go. Dude, uh, I need a target before I shoot. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, uh. I shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Hold on, Chloe. And of course, she's not going to remember that. Okay, not Dude, the bumper, I need a target then. before I shoot. C can we tell her she just shot herself? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Well, that's one way to take out the bottles. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. 
Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't so know. She's definitely getting nosebleeds, isn't she? Max, your nose. Damn. It's putting a physical pressure on her every I time she does it. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh, God. That's a crazy tornado vision again. What is it? Some sort of temporal storm? I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> you freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? Uh, a little. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and <laughs> stupid, but fun. <laughs> Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. <sighs> I better go chat up Chloe. Yeah. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make <laughs> me proud, sister. Okay, who is hey, that walking past? Stelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of Who your the hell is this guy? The gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Ah. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. Oh, it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business. Let me guess, now. that's Rachel's Rachel's bracelet. bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? <sighs> Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. I really don't want to have to shoot you. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot him. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Don't worry, the town's going to be destroyed by Friday. He's going to have bigger problems. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. No, so now all we do is, is uh, Sorry, we Chloe, I've plant some rumors that that guy stole the gun. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's face it, if we make that you know, that glow. paranoid uh, nut job Lair think that he's... Uh, At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Yes, yeah, so we make the paranoid oh guy man. think that... Uh, Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. You know, that a local crook, because I'm assuming that guy is a crook, stole his gun. Wow, yeah. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I mean, I'm not, strictly speaking, advocating framing a man for a crime he didn't commit, but he sort of committed it by proxy. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Mm. <laughs> now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. 
Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Excellent question. It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, lying across train forever. tracks where we've seen trains pootling along there. That's a fan fantastic idea. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he thinks. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun. See, if a guy comes at you with your knife, he's armed and block, clearly grab their dangerous. elbow, twist Max, and yank. I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for you me. Do it right, and it pops That's the why shoulder. I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? <laughs> no, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Gotcha. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? God knows. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... Has... A great eye for Chloe's really worried about a friend, isn't she? Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> That does not look comfortable I'd to me. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Oh boy. This tornado is definitely coming, isn't it? I suspect it's going to be... Pretty bad. Ooh, that was a little, a little ah, epileptic. Help! I'm, I'm stuck. Hold on, Chloe. <sighs> How the hell do you get stuck? What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Okay, gotta find a thing to pry her loose. Awesome! It's not locked! Okay, look at the fuses. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Can I pull that? Probably not. I can't even move it an inch! Okay, we're gonna need a tool or tools. Got to be something up here. Crowbar! Please, get me out of here! Calm down, calm down. I can definitely use this bad boy. I haven't even had to time travel yet. Still fine. Crowbar to open it. Score. Working on it. Excellent. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Okay, so we should have everything. And this is what you get for playing on train tracks. Get back there, you pesky uh, thing. Rats! Cables, pliers. But which wire to cut? Cut the green. Oh, stupid light! Please. No go! That's why we have time travel. 
Not the green. But which wire to cut? Try the yellow. The train's coming! Oh, short circuit city. Max, get me out of here! Crowbar. I can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Oh, okay. Back up, back up. But which wire to cut? Red wire. Now that's the right cable. Bingo. Max, please! Pull the leather. Yes! I did it! That was weaving closer than it should have been. You're welcome. You okay? <laughs> you saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. <laughs> That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? <laughs> it was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. <sighs> I like Chloe. Don't get me wrong, she's... Yeah. <laughs> She's got her uh, share of issues, but I like her. I think she's a genuinely decent person. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. Yeah, I'd concur. That might explain your tornado vision. I'd not tell you how, why. but... Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? Well, they're both weird oh, weather right. patterns. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. That's you altered the course of my true, destiny, yours, actually. and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Butterfly effect, yes. What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Pretty true, I yes. Mean. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have She's a tornado, a photography course. rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, <laughs> yeah, not Armageddon. To quantum so physics. let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. Of the record, I have done quantum mechanics, saying it. And yet one of the best of my life. Because we're back in action again. Seriously, quantum mechanics. Ugh. of all the modules in uh, my degree. That was the one that really made me want to start smashing my head open with a brick. Possibly a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. Sorry, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference for anyone who didn't get that. Specifically, the Pan-Galactic Gargle Plaster. The best drink in the galaxy whose effects are rather like having your brain smashed out with a slice of lemon wrapped around a large gold brick. I really I want to try a Pan-Galactic Gargle Jefferson's Plaster. It's pretty they don't so. exist. I can do some wandering. The Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex so Club? The These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Okay, we've got Zachary. I remember him being a bit of a, you know, bit of a dick. The principal. Sir. Oh, hello, Max. I hope this is the alleged gun incident that happened to. and you covered up. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. Oh, you're going to cover it up, aren't you? Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. <laughs> You mean surveillance? Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, For the record. Wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. <sighs> now, I'm not averse to things like security cameras in the corridors, but. Yeah, I suspect he's the kind of person who'd really like to have security cameras Excuse in everybody's me, bedrooms. Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes. 
It was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All mm. you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. So what about her? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's is he another matter trying to entire. find out what the hell happened to her at this Kate party? Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, I think including you. That's the thing. I think he's got That'll a bit of an attitude problem. Cameras. It will take more than but I think he does genuinely to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? <sighs> I do Unless like complex you know characters. About though. Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. <sighs> thing is, I'm actually starting to believe that he genuinely does care about keeping the student body safe. He's a little overzealous about it. But again, that's an attitude I can understand. And if he's trying to find out about what the hell happened to her at that party, the sci-fi la kitty lab, no longer Schrodinger's kitty. <sighs> I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Hey, Warren. Chemistry stuff. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Oh, God. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Yeah, okay, then try the sodium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yeah, that Yet was quite Max terrible. Has spoken. Sodium it is. Okay, this is probably going to explode in a humorous way. Damn. Zip. Nothing. So, not sodium. Gotcha. Big brain thing. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You. Maxwell. Yes, it's just, yes, we don't need to hear the dialogue again. I like the fact it lets you skip through dialogue I'm not sure that you've why seen you're before. Me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Oh. Weird science. Is that supposed to happen? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. It's not science if you just pour random things together to see what explodes. Is that our locker? I assume it is. Yeah. You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Now, what's going what? on with her? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. Okay, I don't think I can talk to her. Stop! But don't come near me. No, nope, she definitely doesn't want... Okay, she's leaving and I can't do anything to stop her. Let's try and talk to the teacher to find out what the hell that was about. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. Yeah. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Yeah. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Hmm. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. 
Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Yeah. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, Fair enough. I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yep. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. No. Nope. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yep. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Mm. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Yeah. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Yep. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Mm. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm. And again, I think the teacher's probably a decent enough guy. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. Vogue. Oh. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. No Show time to talk, Max. Posing. How do I look, Taylor? As I say, posing always invariably looks Max really unnatural to me. As I say, there's desk. genuinely only one oh, photo I'm of sure myself I've ever seen that I actually like. like I and I maintain that's because I had no idea it was being taken. Jefferson. Like he gives a shit. You know, I have my eyes shut like and playing my violin, is. and it's Max actually is a really good photo of me. It's the only one I know of in existence. Still, that to me seems like a reasonable point to end this video before we talk to these two gits again. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.